I'm Allendale's chief meteorologist, Ryan Martin, with a look at the midday weather update. First of all, let's take a look at the current surface analysis. And what we've got here is a good cluster of thunderstorms that's blanketing the state of Missouri right now. And all of this is actually away from the cold frontal boundary itself. Cold front snakes through southern Iowa, up into central Nebraska, and down into western Kansas. But we've seen a big bubble of thunderstorms from extreme southeastern Nebraska through northeast Kansas and through northwest and even west central parts of Missouri. Rainfall totals have been very, very impressive. I saw a couple of graphics that show radar estimated precipitation in parts of northwestern Missouri. A few areas over nine inches. Now, that's just insane. But I'm also not going to sit here and say it's not right either. There were some heavy training storms out there. I think some of the radar estimates may be skewed a bit by potential hail. But still, the fact remains, there's plentiful moisture. There's strong thunderstorm action out in the southwestern part of the Corn Belt. Looking for this to try and track across into parts of Illinois later this afternoon. It's right on the border right now. Uh, working through St. Louis. So Southern Illinois can see some action. What's real interesting, though, and we talked about this in our morning online write-up, as the frontal boundary and the precipitation meanders eastward, it's almost like it starts to fizzle out and die and turn more to the south and going east. So, you know, I'm sitting here now midday on Thursday and looking at states like Indiana and Ohio, southern lower Michigan, And I'm not sure we see a whole heck of a lot of moisture holding together over there. I guess it'd be crazy to completely rule it out at this point. But the the big rains are definitely going to stay off west. So I'm looking at a few hundreds to a few tenths maybe over the extreme eastern Corn Belt, Indiana, Ohio, lower Michigan. Better amounts as you track back farther off to the west. And again, these super heavy amounts are going to be very, very localized as we go forward. Now, in terms of what we see after this, I'm still much more impressed, much more concerned with the system that tries to come through as we finish off the weekend to go into early next week. So from late Saturday through most of Sunday and into early Monday morning, I think we've got a potential for a massive, massive strong to severe storm outbreak across the Corn Belt, heavy rains across the Corn Belt. I think this is something that we definitely are going to have to pay attention to as we finish out the weekend. Right now, I'm going to leave my rainfall totals alone out of the outbreak, looking at half to one and a half inches in general. But I'll also sit here right now and say, just like we did in our online write-up this morning, there will be places that go above that easily. I will not rule out two- to three-inch rainfall totals as we finish out the weekend, especially on Sunday across a large part of the Corn Belt. And honestly, the worst rains, the heaviest rains, may end up being uh, from the arrowhead of Minnesota across northern parts of Wisconsin. This is a very strong low. I'm looking for some gusty winds. I'm looking for heavy precipitation and then clusters of thunderstorms as we go through the overnight hours Sunday into Monday. I'm seeing this front kind of break up into clusters, four or five serious thunderstorm clusters uh, in Missouri, central to southern Illinois, and Indiana. So rains can very, very easily be heavy. If you're looking for some good news as we go on through the rest of the week next week, let's just say from Monday afternoon on through, I'd say Thursday into Friday, We're going to be seeing a fairly dry forecast pattern set up. The next system that we see works into Minnesota, Wisconsin, and the Western Corn Belt as we go through Friday morning and afternoon. It will then track across the rest of the Corn Belt from Friday night on through Saturday the 13th, maybe lingering into the early, early part of Sunday the 14th. Moisture totals there, again, can be half to one and a half inches. I'll be concerned about some thunderstorms making uh, higher amounts in spots. But it looks like this is going to be a more general coverage rain. I like coverage across the Corn Belt probably close to 90% out of the system toward the end of next week. Models are also showing another system around the 18th, 19th. You can even stretch it to the 20th time frame. Uh, That's on the GFS. Plenty of time for that to change. If you recall, the GFS a little while ago was calling for a waylaying kind of storm around the 15th, 16th, and it's backed off of that. So the GFS tends to put in way too much moisture in the extended period. You need to watch for the actual fronts themselves and see what their longevity and what their track is rather than zeroing in on the precipitation amounts. And it does look like we'll have a good front there right around uh, the 18th, 19th, 20th time frame. Temperatures overall, I still look for these to be normal to slightly below. We're going to see a few days of warmer air in the central and southern plains. That may try and work northeast into the southwest corn belt problem is anytime you bring some heat in like that and you've got another front coming through like we have this weekend probably not the best recipe and that's one of the reasons why i'm concerned about stronger thunderstorms but on the whole over the next uh, two weeks definitely like to skew temperatures slightly below normal Uh, but 
we do see bigger, drier windows in here. That's the way things are stacking up. If you've got any questions on the weather, give us a call at Allendale. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ryan Martin.